Hi everyone. I want to talk about the Kundalini and does the Divine Masculine also go through a Kundalini activation? Hi everyone. I'm Annalisa from In the Hidden Kingdom. Welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you were here today. So the Kundalini is the Shakti energy that lies dormant at the base of your spine. And when you meet your twin flame, that Kundalini energy becomes activated. Now, for some individuals, it might become activated right before you meet your twin flame, during or right after you meet your twin flame. So it's going to uh, be unique for each, each uh, divine feminine. And the divine feminine can be male or female because we are talking about energy. So it doesn't necessarily mean that your Kundalini has to abruptly come through your chakra system. It can happen for some uh, where it is a, it comes through at once, but typically it makes its way through uh, the spine, uh, the base of your spine and comes through all your chakras. And sometimes it gets stuck at certain areas of your chakras. And that could be because those areas have blockages due to your core wounds. And that is an indication for you, Divine Feminine, to look at the, those core wounds and to keep working in releasing the negative energies that are still blocking that energy. And sometimes you'll also feel uh, emotional pain, right? Distress and anxiety and depression, um, and they can all lie um, in your chakras as well, especially your lower chakras. Um, and also you uh, might feel uh, those blockages pretty strongly. And again, that just means that you want to work on those areas. But as you begin to work on those areas, you're releasing the energies for the Shakti energy to come through. And that is the whole idea is for the, the, uh, the energy, the Kundalini to come all the way through, um, through your crown chakra. And as you do the inner work, that Shakti energy is uh, there to remind you that it is there and will uh, let you know uh, those times where you still need, need to do the inner work. So it is all there for your, uh, for your growth, for your spiritual growth. And what a beautiful thing, right? Because as that energy comes through, you are aligning, you are um, going forward in this path to enlightenment because remember this journey is all about you it isn't about your other self now your divine masculine right now does the divine masculine also go through the shakti energy and the answer to that is yes they're um they also become activated however they are not the leading twin in this journey meaning you are the more spiritually awakened one and they are more the one that is in the matrix so they are running from that energy right and when you are in separation they are running from that energy and you are being forced as that shakti energy is trying to come through and you will know that by pain you will have physical pain you will have emotional pain and spiritual as well because you're being you're being uh, inspired to grow spiritually and your divine masculine is running they are running from you they are running um, as far away from you as they can and they're trying to hide from that energy but the good part is is that once you begin working on yourself and that Shakti energy is coming through slowly, your Divine Masculine uh, energy is also uh, rising as well. So their Shakti energy is also working as well, but you have to do the work. 
first. Um, and I know it's not fair. It isn't fair that the Divine Feminine has to do all the work, but that is the way this connection works. So just know that you are assisting your other self, which is also you. You're, assist you're assisting your soul in becoming your the true authentic version of yourself. That is what this journey is about. It isn't about focusing on the other body. It is about solely focusing on you. And that is why that Kundalini has become activated. And you'll know, you'll know when it gets stuck because you'll feel a lot of pain and the pain is going to vary. It's going to be emotional. It's going to be you crying. It's going to be you in a depression. Uh, it's going to be you in your leg hurts, your stomach hurts, uh, your heart chakra too. Uh, you'll feel uh, sensations in your heart. Uh, you might feel it in your shoulders, your back. And that is all that Shakti energy trying to get through. And it's going to let you know to keep working on yourself until you start dancing with that energy. And that is what that energy is. You need to become very in flow with that energy and letting it flow and rise and dance with that energy as it comes through and comes through your 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 uh, chakras and this takes time divine feminines this is not something that you can you i wish i could say you can do this in in a week or two or three weeks um it's going to take time it's going to take uh, months and months uh, and sometimes even longer for you to be able to, to, to do this because you have to work on this on a regular basis, on a daily basis to get to really start dancing with that energy, knowing where it is and start working with that energy. And this is a big part of what this journey is. And as you dance with that energy, right, your divine masculine is also dancing with that energy. They just don't know what it is. They're not sure what's going on. You know what's going on because that's why you're here. That's why you're listening to me. Um, and so you know a lot more about the spiritual side of this journey. And that is perfect. Uh, that is the way it is meant to be. And so just know that the more you are in flow with this energy, the more it will come through and go through all your your chakras um, and unblocking those core wounds and sometimes you might think oh I've already unblocked that core wound and it's coming through but guess what it, it, it'll, it might come back again and that's letting you know that it's not completely healed and you need to go back to it um, and that's okay too because it just means you have to dive a little bit deeper into and releasing that energy and transmuting that energy into positive. So if you're feeling um, that, that Shakti energy is stuck, uh, it's important to find ways to release that energy. Sometimes breath work uh, really helps. So um, there are many different types of uh, breath work. So feel free to, uh, to look into that to find what type of breath work works for you. Yoga can be a nice way to release energy as well in different positions that you put your body in and release trying to release that stuck energy uh, meditation is another beautiful way being in nature so whatever is going to work for you what might work for me might not work for you in releasing that stuck energy so the kundalini is a beautiful energy and it's speaking to you it wants you to release it wants you to be the full authentic version of yourself and you've been given this opportunity and you have to look at this as a as a magical beautiful journey and it may not uh, seem that way right now if you are in the beginning stages of this journey you may not want to hear anything about a kundalini or <laughs> energy rising through you just want your your twin flame back but you have to um, really put the work in 
and once you do that you can magnetize your uh, your other self back in the other part of your soul which is you right um so i hope this uh this um, video has helped you in understanding a little bit more about the kundalini if you were not already aware of it um, so feel free to comment below like my um, my youtube channel or subscribe if you have not yet and um, feel free to check out my website i'm here to support you on this twin flame journey and thank you again for um, for coming to my video sending you so much love